Okay, so we're going to make borders around the banner. I start off by going to the top layer that I have over here in the layer palette. Select a new layer. Just OK. From there, I go to Selections, Select All, Selections, Modify, Contract. I do five normally for a normal border. OK. Selections, Invert. From there, I make sure the color that I want as my border is in the foreground and stroke properties. Come over to Flood Fill and just flood that layer. Now, should you want to do a brush on your border, I find a color that I would like. For my brush, I usually do a little bit darker. Like that. Then I create another layer just for my brushes, so in case I don't like it, I can go back and change it, or I can lower the, the opacity with it as needed. Go to your brushes. I'm going to leave the one that I have on there, just kind of a grunge type brush, and splatter it a little in there. Not a big deal. And then select none. Now, if you notice, there is your little splatter on there, your brush. Now you can always lower the opacity if you want. You can change the blend of the brush so it's a different blending. That was multiply and just kind of play with it. Now, if you wanted to, say, use a filter on that original layer instead of a brush, just select the layer that the brush and the border is on. Go to your filters, plugins. I really like the eye candy uh, glass, and I've got a settings for the bevel 6.99, smoothness 75, inside marquee, edge darkening 3, gradient shading 0, refraction 50, opacity 0, tinting 40. And then I've got a white color, and then OK. Now you probably don't see much on this because it is a white border that I've got on there. But if you give it a little bit of a drop shadow, you'll notice it better. And that's it. Again, there's many different filters you can play with and uh, use on your, your border. Now, should you want to do a texture for your border instead. I'm going to copy the bottom layer, which was my texture, duplicate, I'm going to arrange it to the top. This is going to cover my pictures. Now, I always leave a blank layer on the very, very bottom swipe for this reason. So I can go ahead and select all. Then I'm going to modify, contract, my normal 5. OK. Now I need to move my placement back onto the top layer of the texture. So I've clicked on it. And now I just hit delete on my keyboard. And then select them. As you see, no, we can't see very well because it's blending into well, I right now because of the texture. But you can go ahead and give it a drop shadow. And you'll notice right there. I switch my drop shadow settings the exact opposite and I can see it better. If you have any questions let me know.